Hi guys, this is Will Ruddock with the uh, Village Market Simulator series, uh, tabletop version. And um, today we're going to do a much simplified version of the traditional Rotational Labor Association. And uh, we've got three different uh, households here. <clears throat> Each one of these households, one, two, three, have created commitments for their goods and services. Okay. And they are going to contribute two of those to a commons, uh, an economic commons here. Okay, and and this is going to be uh, adjudicated by themselves as a committee along with some village elders, and and so what they're doing is they're putting in two days worth of their commitment. So these blue ones here represent this guy here, uh, his commitments of one day of labor each. Okay, so these are all in the basket, and. Whoever is ready is going to call a mueri or rotational labor day. And so this guy over here is going to say, I need uh, support from y'all. He's going to put two more of his commitments in the basket. He's going to pull these two out. He's got them now. And he's going to tell these other guys, hey, I need you to come help me um, work on my farm. Okay, so he pays them for that. He pays them for that, and they've gone and helped him with his farm. He's actually uh, grown his farm. There's his farm right there. It's doing well now. Great. And uh, now it's this guy's turn over here. So he's going to put in two more of his commitments, right? And he's going to pull out the other commitments from the group. He's going to say, hey, you guys come and help me with my uh, water catchment system. So these guys are going to come over, and he's going to pay them to help uh, with his water catchment system. So these guys are the blue uh, guy right now. He has no more debt within the community group. He's he's he, he's only has credit within the group. And this guy builds a water catchment system with the help from everyone else. There it is. And then finally, this guy says, ah, I need some help as well. I want to build a, a bigger farm as well. So he's going to put his commitments in there, pull these two out, and give them to these guys for helping him build something uh, on his land. Okay. And so everyone right now is back to where they started. They all have their original amount of commitments in there, right? They're at no debt or credit with it, with respect to where they started with each other and they've built a bunch of assets. Okay. And so this is a practice that is going on, um, across Africa still. Um, it's probably the origin of most of society, these types of practices. And uh, there would be a calendar for different types of these activities throughout the year. There's house building, there's farming, there's all, all kinds of stuff going on. Okay. But sadly, in a lot of the world, and even Kenya, these things have disappeared. They're not there anymore because people won't uh, work with each other because they just want national currency. All right. And, um, and so this is a situation we have today where we have a lot of people that are creating claims against their services, like bus tickets, all kinds of um, airtime credits, um, subscriptions to gyms and things like that. So the, the idea of making commitments or formalized commitments in the form of something like a voucher is not so strange. Those, those exist today. And so um, if we have groups that are making commitments to each other, and they're all within, let's say, the same bioregion, and we say, well, how do we get these guys to create this type of a system? How do we get them to actually start working with each other? So using national currency, so I'm going to pretend we have national currency. So that, that is worth, let's say, $100. There's $200. There's $300, $400, $500, $600. We're going to put that into the pool. And we are going to award these different community organizations or businesses or cooperatives to say, you are allowed to put uh, 200 of your vouchers into the pool as commitments against your work, and you can pull out some of that money. So here they put that in there. They pull out some money. So this is basically a pre-purchase of their uh, services. You can think of it as production financing. Okay, So they've gotten some money up front. They've committed to doing some work, and the same with these guys. They're going to commit to doing some work. They get two vouchers as well. 
sorry, two, $200. These guys get $200 as well. And so we've, we've started the situation that we had before. So the media or rotational labor situation is now possible. So let's say these guys now are given a limit. They can put two more into the pool. They can pull out two of these vouchers if they need them, right? So this would make sense on a bioregional level where these are shops or businesses that can work together. They could use those with these guys. These guys could take a turn, put two in, pull, pull, as we did before. These guys could put two in, pull these out, bah, bah, and they could all be building their assets again together. And they have some money to boot we swapped it around that time. So they built assets. There was a kickstart in terms of financing um, their initial commitments, right? But in the end, we see all of this, these assets being developed in these pools. And so the, the job of this pool here is to curate which are good community groups, good vouchers, that are needed within this bioregion that can also connect with each other. So in a way, it's like building a garden. We want all the things in the garden to be synergistic with each other and support each other to build all of their assets, not just physical assets, but also trust, um, uh, political assets, like their ability to make choice with each other, their physical assets, uh, natural assets, building up the environment, and so on. Um, so thanks very much. Till next time.